it was on a particular job in Cairo four years ago when I took a day to go and see the pyramids in Giza, the largest pyramid in Khufu. And I walked around the base of the pyramid, found myself looking back out in the direction that I had arrived from. One of the conundrums of this project has been to try and discover that which is not normally seen by a tourist. Sometimes they're very difficult to find. You go to a particular landscape and you're not sure what you're going to see. Vatican, I found a particularly <laughs> fruitful location simply because of the history of the place. In the case of Venice, I found uh, the people taking pictures of themselves of particular interest. But that's not typical of the project. It's just what happens at that particular place that uh, attracts me. One of the most poignant for me is your image from the Arbeit macht frei yeah. gates in Auschwitz. It is, actually there's a face here, isn't there? There's a downturned mouth and these dark eyes in this building with, what is that? It was quite a shock to see that because I was under the gates of uh, Auschwitz for some hours trying to find the shot. Eventually the crowds cleared and behind them was this building. Um, I was in the way of a lot of people's photographs and, you know, was finding it quite difficult to find my shot. Finding a face in the landscape happened a lot. It happened again at the Statue of Liberty. I noticed underneath uh, my feet were these giant eyes, floodlights. So often the landscape returns your gaze. I did get a few concerned looks from security guards. One at the, the Louvre when I was uh, turning my back on the Mona Lisa. I went behind the crowd and took the point of view of the Mona Lisa herself. What is she looking at across the room? The Veronese picture on the opposite wall. In Tiananmen Square, the guards took quite keen interest in me because I wasn't taking pictures of what everyone else is taking pictures of. So in that sense, the project is quite transgressive. You're meant to behave as a tourist in a particular way, and I clearly was not doing that. Apart from being in the way of a lot of other people's pictures, I must be in more tourist pictures than most uh, photographers, uh, for which I apologise to everybody.